Yeah, I can get you that. Did y'all make yours up? What's that? Did you get a timesheet from City Hall or did you have to make yours up? We got one last time, but it had some issues with numbers already on it. Oh, okay. so I'll I, give you a better one. Well, I already I fixed it the last time when we changed from the old one with all the in and out, in and out. I fixed the one you sent me, and I just changed it from Monday to Friday to what we had. So I'm good with that. Okay, okay. So, I mean, do we need a city city of Kenneth timesheet, or do we just make our own up? Well, I mean, do you want me to have one, one, one template for all the departments? Okay. So you'll get, get us some get a template made. I got the one that Lance did. <laughs> he made it. Yeah. I got it. I got the one that proves it. Can it work? I'm going to have all my guys. It works, doesn't it? Yes, Donnie takes it. Okay. Yeah, we
come in and pays for all that. What day is that? Uh, the 27th. Okay, yeah, uh, July 27th. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be staying yeah. on. <laughs> yeah, I'm making a note. Other than that, that's all I have. Any questions? How many different speed traps are you going to have? Where? I can't tell all of them. I know where most of them are going to be anyway. We'll help you in town. What's happening? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They had picked up more on the stop. We may have had the uh, last month we had the IRS <coughs> on a side by side. So they had picked up on some of it. Uh, obviously, we're not going to be everywhere and be able to catch all of it. We try. And how, how about basketball goals? On the street in daytime and yeah, nighttime. I talked to Mr. So Swain earlier. Uh, he gave us a location where one of that and uh, making sure we take care of all going. He's going to make sure somebody goes by. There's yeah. a couple on Jones Street that I think Scott says one's been taken care of. One got paid. Okay. Well, the one with the golf cart side by side, I have a question on that. Can we say an hour that we're going to take them out at night without lights on? I think the it's word is that it's required now. It's required now. It's, required now. it's in the ordinance now. It's required now. I don't know that's a big issue. I'm glad to go out of that quite Well, they also have to be actual drivers with license. But, yes. You know, they're not people who aren't doing that at all. So it's one of those things that when the police catch them, they're going to do it. There's a lot of that are. I mean, I, I say a lot of golf. I, yeah. I see the stickers. More golf carts than this. I don't want to look yeah. for I mean, there it's not. There, don't let two or three bad apples run it for everybody. I mean, it's right. Yeah, it's one of those. And that's definitely something we don't want. It's you know, there's a few bad apples out there that are repeat offenders. And uh, but you know, for the city as a whole, everybody does a pretty good job with it and enjoys it. Any more questions? Ah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Street. Mayor, council members. I know this means most girl out this long. I wouldn't near had this much. Uh, you can shorten it. Okay, shorten it. Yeah, I'm going to. Knuckles contractors right now are working on the intersections of Harrison and Poole and uh, Harrison and Jones. They've got, uh, they did a little bit of uh, stormwater work there. We had a busted pipe. They found a big hole under the road. And uh, they did some rearranging on the drainage on, uh, I think it's Pool Street, to try to get it to drain a little bit better. At no, no extra cost to the city. Uh, the street department is currently working on sidewalk on Everett and Harrison. Uh, Knuckles contractor did some work there earlier at the intersection. We're repairing some bad sidewalk there. Uh, we have burned the brush pile and the log pile out at the compost, so it's ready to take a whole lot more brush. And that's all we got for the city or for the street department. Uh, Jerry, you got one in the store for Yeah, I can get rid of that quick. Uh, um, one thing for the street the brand new sign, John Curry Drive. Right. Somebody's already not. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Mm -hmm. We got to know for that. Last a month. I have no idea how I got hit that Recent. way. So there's something big I hit it. Yeah, yeah, that's a big pole. State highway regulation. Uh, Visa Sewers finished with the uh, lining of the pipe, and uh, they're pretty happy with that. And anybody wants to see the video about that, uh, we'll have that later on. The, we found a company that can do our WPA pipes, and it's been a difficulty because they're square. And uh, but we found somebody's going to come out and do a, do a give us a bid. And then the sweeper is still not here, but we do have a sweeper that they have loaned us permanently, I guess, until our sweeper comes in. That's correct. Yes, free of charge yeah, until we get ours. That's it.
Senior citizen. Uh, they're working. They're getting things done. So no updates. No updates. Otherwise, I just know they're working an awful lot, and they're moving and still removing things. And it's a local uh, bunch that's doing it, like what they told us they would do. Try to hire local. Okay. All right. Unfinished business. I don't have anything down. New business. Uh, in your packet, you had a. Uh, uh, Request from Dr. Luke Fowler on the uh, um, to vacate the alley alongside Shelton Park Place. I'd like to make a motion to table that for another uh, council meeting. Okay. All right. I had a, another council person asking me if we could do it. So they'd be involved in the conversation. All right. So we have a motion to table it till the next one. came out for the talking about trash and what to do, how to do it, and everything else. Uh, no, the situation is not solved and it will not be solved by the next council meeting. Uh, but, you know, ideas were brought up and were discussed and so that's going to be the thing. It's, it's opening or heading forward, hopefully, at a snail's pace, but at least it's moving forward. Um, so there's a lot of different aspects to it. Uh, Fourth of July went off. Hopefully, our sales tax numbers will uh, show that to be a, uh, a good weekend for the city because we are 100% sales tax based on the city. Uh, but with that being said, time is running late. I'd like to thank everybody that came for it. Now we'll go down to uh, public comment. told us that the city's fire rating was changed because of a hydrant situation and I saw that reflected in my most current homeowners bill insurance bill it went up about 20 percent now some of that's due to building costs but uh, the agent said it was also specifically rated uh, because of the rating and I'm just wondering I know that you know that could maybe be fixed and I was just wondering if there's an update maybe it was shared at another meeting that I missed CLGW, have they been in contact with the city? Any form of fashion to let us know what? Not yet, but that's what we're waiting on, is CLGW. They, they have submitted the paperwork to ISO. And it's not going to be a short-term fix from what they're going to ask, two years. Two years. Do you think so, Chief? I, I was understanding years. six months. Okay. But it's not a submittal of the paperwork. Sounds better than two. Yeah. 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 Well, thank you. I appreciate that update. The other question I have is, um, I just kind of want to understand how things work because I'm still kind of new here. Um, one of my neighbors on North Vandeventer lost their house last Wednesday night to a fire. I mean, it just is all gone. And I kept seeing the water tank go back and forth. And I, someone told me, and I don't know if it's true, mm -hmm. that's why I'm asking the question, that our city fire equipment is not compatible with the hydrants and they couldn't get enough water through the hoses to put out the fire, and that's why the tanks had to be used. So I'm just trying to understand, is, is that really an issue or not? If it is, is there a plan? I don't know. You need to handle this one? Yeah, it's... Well, you better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> she talked about it. We attended two hydrants in that area, and they were insufficient with water supply. Councilman uh, Carter, did you witness the water flow from that hydrant? Yes. What could you describe that water flow? Yeah, when it first came out, it was brown and it came back out of the barrel about that far, which is not sufficient to. And that was fully open. Yeah, so, so I mean, How often are those hydrants inspected? Well, how often are they inspected? That would be a COGW mm -hmm. question. Okay. Yeah. So they are the which ones that maintain them and inspect, yes. inspect them as well. Because yes. I was also told that. And I don't know anything about engineering. It's not my thing. <coughs> we needed high capacity water, and we're not set up for that. So I, again, I don't know. I'm just asking questions because, you know, that house is four or five blocks from a fire station, within, you know, from here to there of a hydrant, and it, it couldn't be saved. And there was an <coughs> emergency vehicle there. The six or seven blocks were cordoned off, and and they just had to watch their house burn. Part of this, 
you've got to realize that uh, some of these streets were poured 100 years ago. And the town at that size, at that time, was a very small town. And there was adequate water supply. And the city grown and grown and grown. But those old pipes had not been replaced. Well, I, I have a hydrant directly across from my house. And now I'm worried. And it's a historic home. It's the oldest house in Kennet. And I'm worried that if there's a fire, we'll just watch it go. And is there anything? I would think that people other than me would be interested in, like, how can we fix that? That has to do when they fix the ratings. That should be <coughs> the director the chief. But the Not necessarily. That's just another item that needs to be fixed. But okay. this has been an issue in, in certain parts of the city that uh, has 50 water, water flows that are not sufficient for the uh, maximum fire control. And in that situation, again, <coughs> we expect those hydrants to be sufficient. They work. So as you've seen, the big water tanks that came in is what we primarily use for out-of-city response. Right. But yeah, it was we were very fortunate that we had them in order to prevent uh, from, from further damage to any other structures. But, uh, you know, we had some fires in other areas of town, and that's the reason the tanks were right. couldn't create, you know, and, uh, modernized and got bigger tankers in the town. Uh, we just, uh, as far as the water supply, we don't have really a good grasp as far as uh, that water flow caught everyone off guard. When it was last inspected, that would be a, a, a CLGW question, and that that might be a question for you as a homeowner. That uh, you might. Well, yeah, might I, would, help. I would. I would think a lot of it's one of those things you don't know about until it happens to Still you, happens. Right? right? And then it's too late to fix it. <coughs> right. So I would think there'd be other people who'd be interested. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. As well. Okay. Was the, the, did you say that the water didn't squirt out of the fire hydrant about nine inches? Was that what I just heard? Well, yeah, before it started falling. Yeah. I mean, it didn't stop flowing, but it didn't have the volume behind it that it needed. That's, it's that's completely cool. unacceptable right there. I've never heard that in my life of a fire hydrant. I mean, that's, that's, that's unexcusable. It's, it's I mean, I don't want you to check them and get them blow water across the street. Mm -hmm. They don't do that anymore? Uh, put a check on the side. I ain't know my home was going to get burned up. Yeah. Chief Spain's quite a bit younger than I am, but we've been around about the same amount of time yeah. in the fire service, and that's not the first time we've seen you got to be kidding me. Well, that should be a priority right there, yeah. like the Maple City. It, it, it's, it's they ask you, right? say, her, can she call CLGW and say, this hydrant is across from my house and give me the address? Can well, they or, tell or, her what the test was on that to say? They possibly could. Um, matter of fact, I believe we could probably come up with those numbers. And they should be public. Well, I wonder if maybe the council would invite CLGW to come and answer some <coughs> questions if they're the ones who need That'd to be, be asked. Yeah, that'd be great. We'll invite them to the next meeting. Would you be here? <laughs> I'd be happy to be here. Right, we'll invite them to the next meeting. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for listening to us. Thank you. Thank you. Not glad you're there. Thank you. You be able to ask what this test was on this item. Okay, anything else? Have a motion to adjourn go into closed session? Go so move. All in favor? Second. 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 Uh,